This is the supposed dining hall for students of Islamic Science Senior High School. From rotting ceilings, broken lava blades, to dilapidated concrete floors, students here sometimes contend with animals for the hall owing to the lack of doors at the entrance. Some students have been speaking to City News. We are not feeling comfortable in the dining hall. And we are not feeling comfortable because dining, our, din our food is served on the floor. Our food is served on the floor. Look, the dining hall doesn't have any gates to cover when we finish. So the ships, the goats, everything, they will come inside. They just defecate around. The droppings will be there. If we come to eat, unless we sweep it before we can eat. If we don't sweep it, we can't. And when it is raining, we can't come to the dining hall. Because the dining hall will be filtered. There are no fans, the ceilings, and when it's even time for this thing, time for dining. Students, sometimes when it's raining, students find it very difficult here because all their dresses will be wet. And so they find, sometimes find it very, very difficult. And we don't even have chairs. Chairs are not there, the fans are not there, no lighting. The lighting system is very poor. Sincerely speaking, we will appeal for furniture and fans and support, a little support, because the food, the food there is not enough. The food is not enough for the students. So sometimes we only come and we get some small quantity, but I just have to take it like that because we don't have any option. Yes. So we appeal to get more food to satisfy the students. Since the inception of the school some 25 years ago, it has not seen any facelift. The dormitory block, which was originally designed to accommodate 240 students, now houses over 1,000 students while the population of the school keeps growing with a current population of 3,000. Female students alone make up nearly 2,000 of the population. Some of the girls told City News their dormitory lacks ventilation and is infested with bed bags. I'm many in this room, about 50 plus in this room, and this room is too small for us and there is no even fan in the room. If the rain is falling, we have to stand so the rain stopped before. We are pleading for the government to give us more facilities. There are no fans there, no beds there, no mattresses, and sometimes it's, it's very pathetic, it's very pathetic. In the night, you come and see us lying down there, and animals to go to and ship to, always, they are always there. It's our bathroom that they have changed to a room for us because of lack of dormitories. And we are appealing for people to come out and help us build uh, dormitories. And the toilet is full. We can't go inside the toilet and, and defecate again. We are defecating outside here. And you know that uh, our bathroom is small for us to occupy. So we always suffer when we are to bath. You have to stand uh, for two hours. So one person bath and come, you also stand. So that is making us to waste our time in the dormitory so we don't go to school early because we don't our bathroom is too crowded and this room we are also crowded because there are no we are too many so there are bed bags here what a problem like pipe pipe doesn't open regularly like if pipe is going to open when it opens and uh, this week maybe next three weeks that the pipe will open again aside from the dining hall and dormitories the school does not have an administration block and enough classrooms. The science laboratory is equally begging for equipment. We have no equipment or we have few equipment that we use uh, in doing our lab uh, tests and all sorts of things. Mostly we go to other schools to rent their things in case we have experiments to do. Meanwhile, a one-story classroom project initiated some years ago has stalled. The headmaster of the school, Abdul Rahman Manan, is appealing to government and other bodies to come to the aid of the school. We don't have dining hall, we don't have uh, the, the, number, the classroom block, which is at the lentil level, a story building. It's not completed. We're appealing to get funds and for that matter, the government of Ghana to come to our aid. We're also appealing. The school has no administrative administration block. The school has no pickup or four-wheel drive, the school has no bus. Uh, uh, the bus that was given is 33-seater, and the population is more than, is almost 4,000. So we are appealing to the powers that be to come to our aid. 
The parents teacher association and some old students are also calling on the government and the Muslim community to help. The, the dining hall is an eyesore for now. The PTA thought a problem was a problem that we could solve, but it's beyond PTA's uh, solution. So we are asking government to intervene to assist the school.